Hey guys, I'm back to share my November favorites with you all. I have some beauty, I have a little bit of hair care, skin care, and I actually have a face tool to share with you guys as well. So let's go ahead and get into my November favorites. Alright guys, if you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on my video. Please consider giving me a like, comment down below, and also subscribe to my channel for more videos. If you are a returning subscriber, I love, 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 and appreciate you. And thank you for coming back to watch my video. Let's go ahead and get into these favorites. Alright guys, I feel like November was a little bit of a weird month. I feel like... It went by pretty fast, but not so fast in my opinion. I feel like maybe just because in my personal life so much has happened in November, it didn't feel like it like flew by so, so fast. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into these favorites. I hope you guys had a wonderful November. You were safe, you know, healthy, uh, family safe and sound, and had an amazing Thanksgiving if you celebrate um, I had a wonderful time I went to my sister's house um, we drove out to Pennsylvania it was a bunch of us it was amazing and much needed relaxation and family time which I absolutely love so I'm gonna go ahead and start with some beauty favorites I only have a few beauty favorites because you guys know I'm a creature of habit I don't typically try lots and lots of new beauty items at one time i like to typically go through what i own and also i if i like something i tend to kind of stick to it and i don't really change it up um so it was a really nice surprise when i tried the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin radiant concealer and absolutely fell in love with it um i was doing my best friend's makeup and I purchased um, one of these concealers for her and I decided to also get one for myself and um, when I used it on her I was like wow this concealer is really beautiful it is super emollient really easy to blend it spreads really really far but it gives a, a nice coverage it's a medium to full coverage in my opinion but it gives this radiant bouncy glow it looks so pretty on the skin um so if you actually wanted to maybe use it as a little bit of a spot concealer and use it as like a foundation no makeup makeup that would look really beautiful it's really pretty under the eye really pretty on the face like i said it's just really really good i got the color 12 tan for myself I could probably go a little bit lighter as well to get one to highlight a little bit more um, and I love this concealer I love the consistency I again love how it um, blends out it plays well with other products as well because I put a little bit of a different concealer on top to brighten it up a bit and it worked really really well and I just really like it um, so try this concealer really really love it definitely gonna keep trying it and see if it reaches holy grail status for me um but for right now i really really have been enjoying the charlotte tilbury um beautiful skin concealer you have to try it if you haven't i feel like i'm really late to the bandwagon but really love that you guys know that the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray is my holy grail favorite setting spray this is just a little travel size that i like to keep in my makeup bag but i have the larger size i also have it in my um, professional makeup kit but I wanted to share a combo that I've been doing so um, I forgot who talked about this it might have been Tierra Tyera here on YouTube who talked about this combination I'm not totally sure but I've been loving to use my airbrush concealer in combination with the one size on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray so these are both setting sprays but I've been loving to use them in combination so I will go ahead and first use my airbrush um, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray and then on top I'll put a little bit of this one and it keeps me so so matte. Um, I don't like this on its own. I got this a while ago and I just couldn't really get with it on its own. Um, I didn't like how it felt on my skin. I don't know. But with the Charlotte Tilbury it's like magic. I love the Charlotte Tilbury um, setting spray on its own but with this together my skin stays super duper matte and I don't know what it is maybe it's fall and going into winter more of that matte skin I've been really liking and because I work such long days this is amazing because I feel like I don't ever have to touch up my makeup or put a little bit of powder here and there I can go like all day 12 hour day and my makeup looks like literally almost how I put it on in the morning um maybe i'll get a little tiny bit of shine like right right here maybe and a little on my chin 
but that's really that's it so i love this combination so if you own them both try them together because it is an amazing combination or if you own one or the other just doesn't work for you get the other one try them together and see how you like it the last beauty item i'm going to talk about is actually these lashes and it is the kiss um look so natural trio trio lash so this is the sort of clustered lashes that have three lashes on the band there this is something typically that I use in my kit. I love to use this on customers, but lately I've actually been using it on myself and I really like how it looks. It gives this almost like lash extension, fluffy look, but it's also very natural. It's not too heavy and I've just been really liking it. I've been doing it for the past few weeks, maybe month, and I've been really liking to use this on myself. I normally just use a little bit of a half lash corner lash on myself um, and then keep it pushing, but I've been using these on myself um, and I have been loving them, so I wanted to share that with you guys. If you want the look of like an individual lash look, but you want um, it to be a little bit easier, try these trio lashes. They're so easy to put on and it gives you a little bit more room to customize how your lashes look. It gives more of a fluffy um lash look it's more natural and i think it just looks really pretty all right guys i'm going to talk about a couple hair care things uh the first being something that i got in the sephora sale which was the way heat protection spray i love this i love a heat protection spray that is more of an aerosol that's very light and that doesn't weigh your hair down or that doesn't re-wet your hair. I tip because I typically use this sort of heat protectant when I am passing my flat iron. I don't want to re-wet my hair and then have my flat iron be like sizzling. I don't know, that just bothers me. So I like something that's a bit drier of a texture when I'm using a heat protectant. Before this, I had the Moroccan oil one and that one's really good, but I think I prefer this one. I think I prefer this one a little bit more because I like the finish on my hair. I like how shiny my hair looks. And I really love the smell of this a lot. I love the smell of this. If you guys can get into the Sephora, go ahead and try this out. Smell it. It's really, really nice. And, you know, we can't forget to use heat protectants on our hair, especially if you want to maintain the length of your hair. Um, it's important that you are protecting your hair from the heat that you're using. If you curl your hair, anything like that, don't forget. It's an extra step, but if you... Are diligent with it your hair will really thank you and in the long run you'll see the results of your hair are much much better and your hair will get fried and dry and break off so love a heat protectant and the one that I've been loving right now is the way highly highly recommend I also got this in the Sephora sale which is the Ajwa uh, beauty balmet deep conditioning treatment I think this is like their most highly rated deep conditioner right now and I was I was just like so many people were talking about it that I honestly felt FOMO and I was like what is this deep conditioner that everybody and their mama is talking about let me go try it and then I decided to get it during the Sephora sale because I wanted to save a little bit of money on it and so that was a perfect time for me to try it out and I've used it three to four times already and I can already say that I really love this deep conditioner this is deeply deeply hydrating moisturizing um it smells great it has this minty smell but it's not totally like peppermint it also has something else in there that i can't quite put my finger on but it smells really amazing i feel like it makes my hair super moisturized but it doesn't weigh my hair down which is a big thing with deep conditioners for me i don't want my hair to look greasy limp uh, you know or really weighed down and heavy i still want my hair to have you know body to it and it to be light but i want it to look moisturized i want it to feel moisturized and i want it to actually be moisturized too because you know um it's all about healthy hair so i love this product because i feel like it's the best of all the world and i highly recommend this is meant for dry textured hair so more for natural hair but um i really love it i'm natural but i'm heat trained and it works perfect for my hair it doesn't weigh my hair down maybe if you have very fine hair this might be too much for you um but i find with my thick hair i love it all right guys so the rest of the things i have here are actually skincare and then i have one little non-beauty thing at the end that i'll share with you guys so um i want to talk about the fendi skin hydra reset intensive recovery hand mask i love this stuff especially right now going into winter i live in new york city it gets really 
like cold outside like to the point where it feels like your hands and your lips are going to bleed um so i love something like this that is deeply hydrating and that is going to really hydrate my skin so this is great to use overnight um when you're sleeping because it is very very thick i don't know if i would keep this in my purse to use like as a regular hand cream because it's so thick i feel like i couldn't touch anything after but going to bed this is amazing i even use it on my feet and really like it this is just super duper thick it doesn't have a strong smell or anything so it's great for when you're going to sleep um and especially i think in the winter when our skin just tends to dry out a little bit more um i like to pay a little bit closer attention to hydrating certain areas of my skin especially my hands my feet my lips um so i've been really really loving this highly recommend and i hope she doesn't discontinue this i don't know how popular this product is um but i really like it all right i have two products here that are sort of cleansing products i'm going to start with this one which is the lms pro collagen cleansing balm which i love so this is a cleansing balm i love the way that this smells this smells like you are at a spa mm, i love this this is really great i've been really getting more into um cleansing balms instead of using my micellar water which isn't that bad or anything but still you're tugging at your skin i definitely don't use wipes or anything like that but even with the micellar water sometimes i find that i'm i am tugging at my skin a little bit so i really really like a cleansing balm because you're not tugging at your skin causing any irritation or wrinkles anything like that this is just removes all your makeup and doesn't make your skin feel dry irritated or anything like that so I really like this and I go ahead and I you know rub all of my makeup off you add water it rinses everything clean and then I use my one of the things I'm going to show you I use one of my clean skin towels removes everything all the makeup and then I go in with another favorite which is going to be a another recent purchase with the which is the Biosance squalene and amino aloe gentle cleanser so I was looking for a new cleanser. I talked to you guys about this in my Sephora haul and decided on this one and I love it. Again, it smells very spa-like so there is definitely a um, theme with these products because I feel like when I'm using these, these products, it's so calming, so relaxing. It's like a very much a self-care moment. Um, but what I love about this is that it foams up really nicely but it doesn't leave your skin dry or anything like that. It's actually meant um, to deeply cleanse your skin without over drying. So it specifically says that, which I really like. Love the packaging. It is just so sleek. Been loving these products. Doesn't irritate my skin. Removes everything. Um, all of my makeup. I love it. Another thing I want to share is what I just talked about, which is the Clean Skin Club. So these are the Clean Skin Club clean towels. So these are actually disposable facial towels. So these are really great because they're super duper soft. So instead of using a paper towel or reusing and reusing a washcloth, which if you're not very careful, can lead to breakouts and things like that. And it's just not that hygienic to reuse the same washcloth. Um, these are really, really great because you're going to be just using these. These are disposable and they are biodegradable they're incredibly soft so instead of using a scratchy paper towel you can get something like this this is definitely extra definitely something you don't need but i love these i recently got they were having a sale and i actually got three packs of them just so that i'm stocked up through the winter you can use um i'll leave a code down below i think i use uh, Keiko Beauty's code every time I purchase I go through her and I um her link and I um get 10% off and I'm not sure if I was able to stack the 10% plus this like percentage they were having but I, st I still will um put her link down below because it's always nice to get a little bit of a percentage off they're not incredibly expensive but they're a little up there um but definitely worth it especially if you are getting more into your skincare routine i think this is something that is necessary um i really really like it and once you get a pack it's like you never can go back to using like paper towel or washcloth once you go through a pack of this you're like oh i need to reorder it and so um yeah i'm pr pretty stocked up on this but wanted to mention that the last skincare thing is actually going to be a tool which will be the new face uh fix 
So it's like a little mini version or like a portable version of the new face. I love this little thing. I got a, I had another one that I specifically had in my kit and I would specifically use it, use it more for brides. I would do like a little facial before doing their makeup, but this is my personal one. I really, really love it. It looks like this. It has two little um, balls on the top there. And this is just like a little portable, tiny little new face machine. If you're not familiar with the new face, it is a sort of facial tool that uses um, an electrical current to lift and um, tighten your muscles in your face, basically. And if you're consistent with it, it really, really, really works. Um, the normal one is like a little, it looks like a little handheld with two larger balls on it. But this is a little mini fix one. So this I think is a little bit more cost effective. This is really great if you want to try it and see if it's something that you will be consistent with. Um, and also I love this for travel. So you go ahead and you press it, you turn it on. And before you use it, you have to use the line smoothing serum. So you use the serum all over the face um, and then you use this. You have to use that serum because you can't use this on like a dry face and that is specifically meant to work with this tool. And then you just go ahead and you do your little facial. And I really feel like it lifts my skin, it tightens my skin. So I love to use this specifically before maybe something special like an event at work or also if I'm having a pampering night and I want to do a facial, I'll go ahead and use this as a step within my little facial routine. But I'm really loving that. The last thing I wanted to share is actually my planner. I don't know if you guys know, but I am obsessed with organization, planning, things like that. I love stationery. Um, actually will be um, uploading on my planner channel so I will link it down below for you guys because I also love stickers and stuff like that so if you're into that I'll link my channel down below specifically for that but this is my everyday planner this is my sort of just jot things down this is my functional get stuff done planner it's nice and chunky but I just love this I have these daily inserts that I got off of a shop on Etsy which I love and I just I'll show you so basically I you know I just literally jot everything down I organize my days this just keeps me on track it keeps me disciplined um, because I'm super busy not only with YouTube as my hobby but I my just daily work job is very time consuming and demanding and then besides that I do freelance makeup on the side for my clients and stuff like that and also I have to be you know present as a wife as a friend as a daughter as a sister so I love to make sure that I have time for everything and that I'm using my time efficiently with my planner. So this is the Louis Vuitton MM Agenda. Uh, I got this years and years ago and I just love this planner. It was a gift from my husband um, and I have treasured this ever since. But you don't need a Louis Vuitton planner obviously. But um, if you are struggling to keep organized, if you forget things or you are letting things kind of go maybe like doctor's appointments bills things like that get a planner um, because sometimes putting things in your phone is just not enough um, so I like my planner because I never forget if I have a follow-up doctor's appointment if I have um, I never forget my makeup appointments or if I have some weird bill that might be coming up that's not you know doesn't reoccur every single month um, things like that you know I like to just keep on top of things grocery shopping everything everything goes in my planner I hope you guys enjoyed my November favorites what have you been loving in the month of November are you guys ready for December and the holidays I just can't believe that the year is almost ending. We're heading into the holiday season. It's going to be crazy, um, but I'm super excited. I hope you guys are healthy, your families are healthy and safe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching.